pretty good chance if you get hit on that, it's gonna be like a one pound. That's not a freaking bass. I just reeled it in onto something massive. Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Bass Bill 96. It is almost 7 o'clock and I have not got my upload up for the day. We need to do that. We're posting every day for the month of May. I'm a little bit delayed. As you can see, I got this wicked sunburn going on here. And that's because I was fishing a tournament on Braywood Lake, so I didn't get a chance to edit this video yet. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. This is going to be day two of the Bassmaster Open on Bull Shoals Lake. Uh, we were catching them pretty good in practice, so we were feeling good going in today, and it didn't disappoint. We caught them pretty good, uh, and I I'm just going to let you guys watch the video. Kiss in there, kiss in there. Not a keeper. They eat braid though. Number one, I think. Yeah, not a big one. But she should go. I'm thinking that's going to be number one for us guys. Not big by any means. Aaron just snapped off one that might have been decent-ish. Yep. 16 and a quarter. Only have to be 15. That's how I said it right there. Good job, big guy. Thank you. Good one. Not, not really. Thank you. Sorry. I thought it was bigger. She was stuck around a tree. Oh yeah, 16 inches. Number two. Big one. Big one. Not that big, but deeper. Whoo, that was a scary blow up. Probably a keeper actually, he's coming kind of Probably. close. Holy crap, that was vicious. I thought that was gonna be like a five. That's really, that's not even a keeper, brother. Not even, 14 and three quarters. 14 and three quarters. That's fish. Good one. Yep. Get to it. It's a good one. He's a good one. There we go, buddy. That's what we're looking for. He missed that's it. that's a good he one right it. there. I put it back down. Yes, came back, sir. And I'm like, yep, there he is. Things are going. That's well. close to three. Two two and a half pounder. That's a yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Five no five of those. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All righty, buddy. Yeah, brother. So our first spot really didn't pan out as we planned. We were pretty much planning on going up there, flipping up a limit, and then also catching like one or two nice fish, uh, and then maybe not even fishing our secondary pattern at all. The conditions really weren't too conducive to flipping. I think that guys caught him flipping. I think that the low light did help some guys, but I don't know. There was something about that sun that really helped our bush bite and our secondary pattern, and we just couldn't get him when it was running outside. So we started scrabbling and running all over the lake, trying to get that a couple good bites. We honestly didn't even have a limit, so we needed to catch some fish. Yours good? Feels okay. It's going inside right now. Yeah. Looks like a good smallie. Decent. Yeah. 
line burner. It's a keeper. Yay! Four fish, little baby common smallmouth. Just putting him in with the big fish because we obviously know which one that is. What the dick? Got him. Hold on. Maybe a keeper. I think that's number five. A skinny post spawn grows best. A skinny post spawn discussing bass. I'm thinking she's just super long and skinny. It's like a pound. That might be our smallest one. That's real sad. Oh, good one. Feels all right. Looks decent. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That'll help for sure. Oh, you yeah, soon. There we go. It's probably our second biggest fish yet, Tip. <laughs> Free spawn. Here, you get back out there. I'll do the culling, I guess. Yeah, we'll do the culling. There, see, that's like a two pounder. This is like the average fish that we were on. And now we have all these little babies in our live well. Alrighty, guys. Well, we just made our first call of the day. Getting rid of a little guy. It's actually probably a freaking almost pound coal. That's a skinny little fish. So she's going back. We just rolled up on this bank, caught a couple keepers, and Aaron got a halfway decent one. Not a big one, but a slightly more respectable bass. Good one? Yeah. Good one? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that'll probably help. Maybe. Going back. Smallly going back. Yeah. Holy oh, wow. How you feeling? Running right at me. Running right at me. Literally running right at me. It's a definitely a small mouth. I just don't know how big. Yeah, it's a decent one at least. No. I don't know. No. No, no, sorry. <clears throat> that was a very quite like confusing battle right there. Yeah, you know how I knew that one bit too? I was like, I cast it out on there and I knew it was only about eight feet deep or whatever, like on the tip of this point. And my line just like kept going and going and going. I'm like, I definitely have a bass on lifted up and <laughs> sure enough, there he was. Pretty good chance if you get hit on that, it's gonna be like a one pounder. That's not a freaking bass. I just reeled it in onto something massive. I'm assuming a carp. I'm a, yo, it's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> I started reeling it in, and it just took off out of my hands, dude. I thought you were on a rock. You might have to, you're going to have to follow this thing around. I really want to see whatever this is. Probably going to bring it in. It sounds like it's trying to break fucking good. <laughs> what? Is, what is this? What is this? Yeah, but how big is this? You gotta tire that bitch out. That's a cat. I think it's a catfish. Either catfish or a sea I don't think it's a carp. It looked, it didn't look golden, oh, yeah. God, that's big. Is it a smallie? <laughs> it's a carp. <laughs> it's a big carp. <laughs> he ate it, dude. Or I snagged him right in the face. Let me just pop. Let me just get this off real quick. There's probably a good 20 pounder or so. Big old mama. Whoa. Go make some babies. That was the Nico hole. I can see my How you Maybe. Might be a good one, dude. It's fighting, dude. Right? Is it good? I can't it. It's sad. It is. Dude, these smells dig. Yeah. There's no net for this. I got off of him. He should be fine. I don't think that'll hurt. Okay. So that's small as a coal. Getting rid of this dude right here. See you later. That might be 
many decent ones. Maybe. That's, it's decent. I don't want to say bigger than Now it's a two inch fish. Did you see it at all? Yeah, I saw it. But like, it, it wasn't up far enough. You, I mean, you saw a flash, but you didn't see how big it was or anything? Correct. Damn, dude. It was a fish. That was like probably a two pounder. Good thing we don't need it. Probably would, probably would have helped. Probably would have helped. Not gonna lie. Holy sh! That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. There we go, dude. That's like four or five casts in a row. I actually don't even know now. It's at least four in a row. That's the biggest one yet. That one actually might help. God, that one might help. Let's see, look at that one. Oh, wow. That's gonna help, I think. Yeah, that's a two, two, two pounder, yeah. Wow. And we're getting rid of, like, we're getting rid of this little pound and a half, Smalley. There we go. That's what I said, yeah, dude, yeah, here's what it did. That definitely would've helped. What time are we supposed to leave here by? It's 2.30. Right now? Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta drive very fast. Grand Valley State, Michigan, Aaron Denny, the way of that news. What up, guys? Nice job, good start. 12 pounds, 11 ounces, 40 oh, second okay. place for Grand Valley. Good job. Got, Top 50 right now. I got him. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, fellas. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. So guys, freaking whacked my ball shoals. The thing about ball shoals, though, is the weights were super tight. So we were sitting in like 120th place after day one out of only like 200 boats. So not even the top half of the field, but we were only like two pounds out of the top 20 cut or something like that. So we were not out of it by any means. We were feeling still pretty confident, especially because the weather tomorrow was going to be sunny outside and it was going to play into our pattern. So we were feeling super stoked about that. We were ready to get out there the next day. Uh, but thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm gonna leave it at that. Tomorrow's video is gonna be freaking sweet. We caught probably more keepers than I've ever caught in a tournament in my entire life. I, I wanna say I've never caught as many keepers as we caught in day two of Bull Shows Bassmaster College Open. So it's gonna be a ton of fun. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Gonna be posting every day for the month of May. And I hope you guys follow me on this journey and we're gonna be fishing a ton of tournaments. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys tomorrow with another video.